Well, thanks. Our big story this morning, a person is dead, another seriously injured after an overnight house fire. And this is all happening near 9th and Burleigh, and crews have been on the scene for hours. Let's get right out to our Spencer Tracy right now. Uh, Spencer, you spoke with pe people who live at that house. You also spoke with uh, the fire department. What can you tell us? Yes, so the fire department and Milwaukee Fire have cleared the scene and just take a look at the aftermath of this home. It is absolutely just, in, it's very sad, just the top of it completely ruined windows. And we did speak with the fire captain, and he tells me with the water damage that and the roof damage that this house is uninhabitable. And he tells me that they did have struggles, if you can imagine, with the frigid temperatures, the wind. They had a lot of issues with the fire hydrants. He said the one right in front of the house was completely frozen. He said that's why they had to bring in extra fire crews because they needed so much help. But he said they were able to contain the fire. But what we know is that the Milwaukee Fire Department says that one person has died and another person was taken to the hospital for burns to their face. We know that the Red Cross is assisting one family. We're not exactly sure how many people that consists of. Um, we actually spoke with a person that lives in this home but wasn't here during the fire. Take a listen. My husband told me that the house was on fire from work and he was trying to come get the cats and we couldn't get the cats. And I'm worried about Elaine and my other friends that live there. No clothes, my wallet, my purse, TV, ID, everything's just gone. And the Milwaukee Fire Department says this fire is still under investigation, but they say that most of the damage and where they found the flames was at the second story. And they say most of the flames were coming from that attic. Um, and of course, they said they, like I said, they had a lot of issues with the fire hydrants with fro being frozen and a lot of stuff with the cold weather and the frigid temperatures, but they said they were able to put this fire out. Of course, once we learn more, we'll bring it to you on air and online. Reporting from 9th and Burleigh, Spencer Tracy, Fox 6 News.